The American Association of Individual Investors welcomes you to the Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series. Today, we will discuss the valuation models available in Stock Investor Pro and how you may use them to help determine a stock's true worth. As investors, we are trying to maximize our financial return when we buy assets such as stocks. Valuation is at the heart of investing. Perhaps the quickest way to fail as an investor is to consistently overpay for assets. Therefore, one way to succeed in investing is to buy stocks that are trading at an attractive price relative to its intrinsic value. Common sense dictates that investors should buy stocks when they are cheap and sell them when they are rich. However, while this may be a simple principle, determining a company's fair market price or intrinsic value is far from easy. In this installment of the Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series, we discuss some of the valuation models presented in Stock Investor Pro. Before we begin, however, it is important to remember that these are just models and that not all valuation methodologies are created equal. Additionally, no single method applies to all companies or work in all market conditions. Some valuation methodologies are more appropriate in certain circumstances, while not in others. Also, be sure to read the accompanying issue of Stock Investor News for more insights into the relationship between price and intrinsic value and the use of the valuation models in Stock Investor Pro and the stock analysis process. Stock Investor Pro includes a tab on the stock notebook devoted to the valuation models. Here we see the valuation tab for Ritchie Brothers Auctioneers with data as of May 24, 2016. The valuations tab uses popular multiples such as the price earnings ratio coupled with historical and projected growth rates to determine benchmark price valuations. Valuations are meaningful for a wide range of company situations and can help determine which primary factors are influencing a company's stock price. The valuation tab provides valuation models based on earnings, dividends, cash flow, free cash flow, and sales. Stock Investor Pro includes four absolute valuations based upon earnings and two valuations each for dividends, cash flow, free cash flow, and sales. The formulas used in the calculations are displayed on the valuations tab of the stock notebook in the far right column. A simple projection of per share earnings, dividends, cash flow, free cash flow, and sales is calculated in the trend row. The latest reported row, represented by the L in the formulas column on the far right of the valuations tab, uses per share figures for the last four fiscal quarters or trailing 12 months, which are then projected out one year using the historical five-year annual growth rate. If a company does not have a five-year historical growth rate for a given income statement or cash flow statement item, a trend value will not be available. For example, Ritchie Brothers' basic trailing 12-month earnings per share was $1.33 as of its latest quarter ending December 31, 2015. Increasing or growing this trailing 12-month trailing earnings figure by the company's five-year earnings growth rate of 15.4% leads to a one-year projected trend or T-value earnings figure of $1.53. Looking at the IBIS EPS estimate figure for Ritchie Brothers in the EPS column of the Valuations tab, we see that analysts do not believe earnings will maintain the same average growth of the last five years. In fact, analysts polled by IBIS are expecting earnings for the current fiscal year to fall to $1.28 from the current trailing value of $1.33 and below our trend or T figure of $1.53 per share. The first valuation row of the valuations tab multiplies the current multiple or CM by the projected trend value or T value to calculate the fair market price. 
cm times t in the formulas column. Valuations are calculated only for companies with positive figures for the latest reported items and a five-year growth rate, positive or negative. The $37.80 earnings or EPS valuation for Ritchie Brothers is determined by multiplying the $1.53 earnings trend figure by the current multiple, price-earnings ratio, of 24.7. Please note that if you are manually calculating these figures, they may differ from what is in Stock Investor due to rounding of underlying figures. Below the current multiple row on the Valuations tab is the 5-Year Average Multiple, or AM, row. The 5-Year Average Multiple serves as a base to help determine whether the current price has deviated too far from its past relationship to sales, earnings, cash flow, free cash flow, and dividends. Ritchie's current price earnings multiple of 24.7 is slightly lower than its historical average of 27.6. Multiplying this average multiple, or AM, by the projected income statement variable, or the trend or t-value, forms the basis for the average valuation, which is AM times t. Ritchie's average EPS valuation of $42.29 is 30% higher than the May 24, 2016 closing price of the stock of $32.66. Two additional valuations found under the EPS column use IBIS earnings estimates, which you can find on the Estimates tab of the Stock Notebook. These valuations are calculated by multiplying the consensus estimate for the company's current fiscal year, or EE, by the current multiple, CM, in the average multiple, AM, respectively. The $1.28 consensus earnings estimate represents the projection for the fiscal year ended December 2016. As seen in the Valuations tab, this estimate is below the simple projected trend, or t-value, of $1.53. Using the consensus estimate of $1.28 leads to a $31.50 PE valuation based on the current multiple, as well as a $35.25 average PE valuation based on the average multiple. The Valuations tab provides a quick look at a stock's appeal. However, the merit of this data does not rest within the calculated fair market estimate values, but rather in getting a feel for the assumptions built into the company's stock price. Extraordinary gains come when you place a bet against the general consensus and are correct. This concludes this installment of the Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series. To view more of these tutorials to unlock the full value of your Stock Investor Pro subscription, visit the Stock Investor area of AAII.com and select the Video Tutorials link. The Stock Investor area of AAII.com also provides a wealth of user resources including troubleshooting advice. If you have any questions or problems with Stock Investor Pro, please feel free to contact AAII Technical Support via email at techsupport at aaii.com. Thank you for watching AAII's Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series. Goodbye.